After years of disputes and lawsuits, there's new construction projects underway in Charlestown, Indiana's historic Pleasant Ridge neighborhood. L. Smith has more. For long-term residents of the Pleasant Ridge neighborhood, first talks of redevelopment were not welcomed. But six years later, construction is a welcome sight. Ellen Keith and her husband know the ins and outs of the Pleasant Ridge neighborhood. Well, altogether, I've probably lived here about 40 seven years, but in this house, I've lived here for 44 years. In 2015, the first conversations of redeveloping the Pleasant Ridge neighborhood consisted of demolishing every home, first built in 1942 for the working class. The Keys did not approve. They wanted to keep their longtime family home. It's a unique neighborhood where people still get outside. They sit in their yards. They walk up and down the streets. Not a lot of neighborhoods do that anymore. Multiple lawsuits followed, with the most recent being settled in December of 2020. The compromise? Those who have owned homes for years can stay while vacant lots are redeveloped into family-styled homes. You've got a developer who owns many lots up here, and of course he wants to sell those lots, and he wants to build houses and make money, and that's great. But at the same time, it shows a respect for the existing residents of the neighborhood and Charlestown citizens to say, you also get to continue to enjoy your private property rights. Mayor Hodges says it's a relief after all this time to see new construction in this neighborhood. The three bedroom, two bath homes will run between 170,000 and 200,000, much higher than the average home in Pleasant Ridge right now. The average home up here has been um, assessed for property tax purposes around 35,000 for a few years. And so with homes coming in that are hitting that 170 to 200 mark, over the next few years, yes, you will see a rise in the value of the existing homes here as well. Keith and her husband know the history of the neighborhood, but are hopeful for the future. I'm still sad because a lot of people lost their homes, um, but I'm also happy to see redevelopment here and new houses going in because that means our community is going to survive. For WHAS 11 News, I'm Elle Smith.